Hi guys, it's Dave in real life and welcome to this FA Premier League predictions video. Game 5, uh, we are going to look at the results from round 1 of our little predictions game as well. And we're going to take a look at the leaderboard right now. Uh, yes, James Chadwick is uh, on top of the table with 10 points. Me and Dilla, uh, me and Connor are on joint second with six. Then we've got Dylan, who is on five, and propping the table up is Austin316. Uh, this is the first week of the predictions. We go again this weekend, starting with Newcastle Leeds on Friday. If you want to join this prediction game, it's quite simple. All you have to do is comment your predictions on this video the matches will be in the bio so please consider there is plenty of room for more players so that being said we are going to look into the first lot of matches on the predictions for this weekend and we are starting with that game Newcastle v Leeds uh, both sadly suffered losses this past weekend, both losing to top teams in the division, being uh, Liverpool and Man United. Uh, I think both Leeds and Newcastle are desperate for a win. Uh, this could prove quite difficult. Both very attacking minded teams. I think Leeds defending could be better. Uh, same could be said with Newcastle. Uh, I'm going for a 2-2 two, two draw. I think both teams uh, will pretty much be firing at all cylinders. So yeah, I can see a 2-2 two, two draw in that one. Game number two is Wolverhampton Wanderers. Wolves for short against Brentford. This is the early Saturday kickoff game. Uh, I like Brentford. I think they've done okay since coming up. But I think this is a Wolves game. They are at home. Uh, they did look impressive in their last game. Uh, I think I'm going for Wolves to win 2-0. Game number three is Burnley versus Arsenal. Arsenal picked up their first victory of the season last weekend. Uh, Burnley uh, look, got humbled by Everton in our last uh, live stream which was uh, Monday night. Uh, I think the same again, even though this is at Burnley. I think Arsenal have just a little bit more quality than the Burnley team, so I'm going for a 2-1 Arsenal victory. We go to game number four. It's in Liverpool versus Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace did look really cool against Spurs. I think a very weakened Spurs team, I might add. Uh, Edouard looks like a good little signing. I do think this is Liverpool's day. I mean, their performance against Leeds United away from home in the last game was pretty impressive. So, yeah, I am going for Liverpool to win 3-1. Uh, game number five is Man City versus Southampton. Uh, Southampton have struggled over the last couple of seasons. I think this is just going to be a walk in the park for City. They are the stronger team. Uh, in all, uh, so I'm going to go for a Man City victory and they're going to win 4-0. Uh, we we'll go on to game number 6, which is Norwich City versus Watford. I am going for Watford. I don't think Norwich are, are staying in the Premier League. I think Watford have had the better starter of the two since being promoted. Uh, I think Watford have got the better players. Uh, it's unfortunate for Norwich, but I think uh, they're, they're going to suffer yet another loss. We go to Game 7, Aston Villa versus Everton. Uh, Villa got beat by Chelsea in the last game. Uh, Everton, as we saw on Monday night, uh, looked very impressive, especially in the second half. I think that it's going to be yet another Everton victory. I'm going for 2-1 to Everton. Number eight game is Brighton versus Leicester City. Uh, Leicester City, uh, other than the last game, obviously against Man City, uh, which was only 1-0, by the way. 
uh, they, they still look pretty good and I think they can take this one. I, I'm not impressed with Brighton whatsoever this season, so 2-0 to Leicester is my prediction. Uh, we'll go on to, I think that was a Sunday game. I think another Sunday game is West Ham United versus Man United. This is the first meeting of the week between these two. Uh, they do play again in the Carabao Cup, which we are streaming a watch along live on the Wednesday for. So I think this game, though, is going to be a Man United victory. I think they'll win 3 1. To be quite honest with you, they, they will play a stronger team in this one. I do expect the midweek game against West Ham to be slightly different as uh, they're more likely to play a weakened team in the Carabao Cup. So, yeah, I think 3 1's a good result. And we go for the last game, which is Sky's last game of that particular weekend, which is Tottenham Hotspur against Chelsea. Uh, Tottenham uh, have got their injury woes right now from the international break. I still don't think many of the first teamers are back. Uh, plus they suffered that red card in the last game. Uh, Chelsea look strong. Uh, the strongest I've seen them in, in a couple of seasons. Uh, going to go with Chelsea too when I think Spurs' day in the sunshine is sadly over. Uh, I think uh, the, the Premier League is just about starting to take place now uh, and the teams that are, are going for the title are starting to uh, accelerate. So that is my predictions for game week number five. Like I said at the start of the video, if you want to play the predictions game, all you have to do is look at the bio where all the matches will be listed, make your predictions and all the best you can join the leaderboard uh we've only got five players playing so far me included in that five uh so more the merrier don't don't worry if you're not great at predicting scores it's just a bit of fun at end of the day and yeah i, I hope that uh, I see you soon in that part. So yeah, just make sure that you put the predictions in the comment section of that video, of this video, and don't edit it. <laughs> don't edit it or I will uh, probably disqualify you. <laughs> Only kidding, no, uh, just don't. Uh, first dancers only. So yeah, that is my predictions video. Looking forward to a, a good week of football. Uh, we will be live back with the Premier League game Newcastle Leeds. So hopefully see you all then. I've been Dave in real life. You've been awesome. And remember to always keep it real. Until the next time. Bye for now.